So let me see. Uh, yeah. Dun, dun. Did everybody have a good weekend out there this weekend? Shit, Chief Rock had a, a lovely weekend, you know. Went to spend a lot of time with moms. Um, went to, uh, you know, take care of some uh, personal business, you know. And, uh, you know, just, just had a good time. Oh, matter of fact, Chief Rocket went to go see Spicy Conversation. So if y'all go to Spicy Conversation's page, you will see the show that me and Spicy did yesterday. And uh, we did quite a good show yesterday, man. So go up there. Spicy say hello to everybody. Just hit her on her inbox or, you know, email her. And uh, she will holler back at you. But she misses everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, come on, Carla. Hey, what's going on? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Goddamn, Carla. You still up in the truck sleep? This is the number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern. On a Monday recap, calling from the Two Live Stew platform, I have my main man. Uh, let me see, what should I call you? They, some people call you Addison, some people call you Nick, but this is um, Mr. Williams on the phone, man. All right, what's going on, bro? All right, man, what's been happening? Where you been hiding? Oh, uh, he you know, said, well, <laughs> You know, it's football season, I ain't been seen. Where you been hiding? No nah, man, no nah, man. Football season just came up this week, bro. And, uh, I know it. You, you, you been on the cover. No nah, man. Um, just like I told my audience, I'm not a preseason man. I wait till the real stuff start, and uh, that's week one. And by the way, everybody, uh, his favorite team is the Atlanta Falcons. Cause you should tell that, cause the Falcons like to talk a lot of ish. You know what I'm saying? But all I say to the Falcons is uh, three and twenty. What's that? Three and twenty-eight. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's the yep. name of the shirt. Yeah, the shirt they're going around three and twenty-eight. But uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little history on this man right here. Uh, this man right here, his son, played high school ball with Cam Newton. They was buddies up to the day. Um, they still buddies. You know what I'm saying? I think they was part of each other wedding. Am I right? Yeah. Um, and your son also coach. Well, tell them where your son coaches at. Primary University. Furman University, and he's a defensive coordinator, right? Now he's a defensive back coach. He was defensive coordinator at uh, Tuscaloosa. Oh, he was a defensive coordinator at Tuscaloosa. Now he's a back defensive yeah. back coach. But uh, his son is also a uh, A plus student in, in, in a class. He went to South Carolina under Steve Spurrier, played a couple of years uh, before he got hurt. And when he got hurt, Steve Spurrier made him a grad coach. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, we're talking to somebody that um, should be is a proud father of a proud man that successfully um, made it here. You know, as far as football, man, and that's big up to you, your son, and your wife, and you know everybody that got something to do with it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But anyway, my brother, um, we're gonna talk about the Falcons, but. I wanted to talk about something that's very important, and um, uh, your father is a very historic man here in Atlanta, man. Tell them about um, what type of fan and how long your father been season ticket holder with the Falcons. He's been a season ticket holder from day one. The reason he bought season tickets because he wanted to see uh, Jim Brown come to town, but Jim Brown retired that year in wow. 1966. Wow, that's big, he, man. He's only missed about maybe five or six games and, and since, in the whole history of the Falcons. Damn, that is big right there, bro. And, and tell him how many seats he had down there in that dome. When Michael Big played, he had 45 season tickets. 40, oh, my God. You hear that 45 season ticket to see the Falcon. I'm um, Andre Elam that stays over in Sandtown. Uh, he said, tell, tell the caller. He um, worked with your sister, uh, Angela. And you have a big family, too, and whatnot. Uh, his name is Andre Elam. He said, big up to you, too, man, and whatnot. He works that way with Angela now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. He said he works with, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's big. And he said she's a big-time Falcon fan. Of course, uh, Andre, her uh, 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 father been a season ticket holder since, what, 66? <laughs> Shit. So is he in, is he in on this new plan down there at the dome or what? Well, he's not in on it because he said he just can't see himself even buying a ticket for over fifty years 
and now he got to pay for it to buy purchase the ticket. He said he can't see himself doing that because he been getting the ticket. He been paying for the ticket for free. Now he got to pay for it, and he said he can't see himself putting money in the owner's pocket. Wow, that's big, man. You know what? And see, that's the thing. If you ever want to protest on something, that's the thing you should protest on is a man who held season tickets from 1966 up until last season, and now they bring it in this here new policy where they want people to buy into their seats. And this man was holding. He had two rows of seats because every time the Giants come in town, I always got tickets from you. Am I right, my brother? Yeah. And they had good tickets exactly. right behind the giant bench, all the time. That's big up, no, man. Yeah, those go ahead. tickets, uh, they yeah, about thirty five thousand dollars season tickets of uh, PSL. Wow. Those those tickets season now. You know he he says he's eighty years old, and uh, you have to get tied up for thirty years at least. He say he might not live that long to be tied up for thirty years. Oh, yeah, and he yeah. just can't see himself getting owners no money. I hear, him, man. That's big, man. That's a stand. That's a big stand for a person that loves his team, loves the city. He grew up. He coached little league football here in the city for years. Am I right? Because he coached you, right? Yeah, that's why he started coaching because I wanted to play football. So he said, "Winston, I got to take him out here. I'm a, uh, I made West on a hand coach." Yeah, that's and he big, coached man. About Thirty years. Wow, that's big, man. That's I mean, and you and you I mean, you got a big family, man. Um, cause every time y'all give a big function, man, like a cookout or something, man, that thing be off the chain. And your father, there's so many people love your father. They always come around, man. But um, I wanna, yeah. I wanna, I want I wanna talk to you about uh, a situation, man. Being that you seen Cam Newton grow like I did, you know what I'm saying. But you seen him more because him and your son uh, always was good friends, right? Um, do you think yeah. Cam, you think Cam takes too much of a bad rap for a lot of things? That he do, and you know, you think that you think the NFL slowed him down a little bit last year by the referees not calling the bad hits on him. You know, what I'm saying you see him every day, man. You should know. Yeah, I think he get bad rap. Most black quarterbacks get bad rap. Yeah, but but with, with him, he gets certain a bad rap because you know, tell him how athletic Cam is, man. Tell him what type of ball he played growing up, man. He played, you know, he's a basketball player, and, he, you know, he's a good, fast, and quick athlete. You know, and he's, he worked at it real hard. But when they was coming up, my son was starting quarterback. Cam was the backup quarterback because they wanted Cam to play tight end. He played on the line. What? And then when my son broke his, when my son broke his leg, that's how Cam got his chance. And see, this is a see. That's why I tell people, man. If you don't listen to the Chief Rocket Show, you would never know what really happened to athletes that grew up in here in Atlanta. Because I know a lot of people in Atlanta, and that's some news to me. Because I never knew this, man. That's big ups, man. Damn. And your they, son, be, they've been, and your, hey, go ahead, go ahead. They've been they've been knowing each other since they like five years old. Right. Wow. That's and, big. And man. I, I grew up with I grew up with Cam's daddy. Uh huh. And he, yes, played little, he played a little bit ball with Dallas Cowboys. Oh, okay. That's that's what's up. Oh, shoot, Mr. Newton. He he, he graduated <laughs> from Savannah State. Right, and his brother his brother also played professional ball too. Yeah, he played with uh, the Baltimore Ravens in uh, Jacksonville. He he played with a couple of teams. Right, I right. think he got drafted by the uh, Baltimore Ravens. Right, right. Big up, big up, man, to the Newton family. And now he got a younger uh, son that's a quarterback. Uh, I don't know where he's going, but he had a good year at Grady he, High School. He, he's up there in D.C., up there at, uh, I think, Howard. Big he up. Went in, he went in in January. Yeah. Big big up. And he going to start, too. I guarantee you. Cause yeah, he's quarterback, too. That boy got a, that boy got an arm, and, and he's shorter than Cam, but I seen him play on Cam 7-on-17 seven because my neighbor, D.J. Uh, Brown, that's in Penn State right now, they got their first day of workouts today. Um, you know, they used to play together. Big up, big up to the Newton family, man. But now that, you know, we here talking, man, we're going to get down to the subject that everybody want to talk about. But I got a, I got a, a, a person in here said, um, Jameis Winston going to like fire to the Falcons ass and everybody else in the NFC North. Uh, what you say? I mean, South, South, my bad, South. I've got a little bit of growing up to do. You say you got a little growing up to do? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and well, you know, get a little more experience. Well, you know, two years, man. They said sophomore year's a jinx. This is his third year now. So you don't think with the talent he got, and I just ran off the talent he got before I called you. Uh, he got two good tight ends. He got the boy out of Alabama, uh, Howard. He got another guy that's about 6'9". And he got Vincent Jackson, Deshaun Jackson, and Evans. You don't think he got enough talent to... Wait, 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 wait. He's got enough talent. Well, I'm saying he's going to grow up and develop as a quarterback himself. Certain things he do. Addison. He can just throw the ball out. He can throw the ball out there. What, 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 what I'm saying, you can throw the ball, but what I'm saying, you got to know what, what to put the ball and how to put the ball. You, okay. You're playing in big time now. I got a, I got a, I got a, um, I got an example for you. Back in Terry Bradshaw days when he had Lynn Swan, Starwork, and Benny Cunningham, he never threw a perfect pass. Them boys went and got the ball, making acrobatic catches and all kind of catches. That's why I think their careers ended uh, soon because they was always hitting the ground. They was always making fantastic catches to make Terry Bradshaw, old ball ass head, look good. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, well, if you they go, made, go ahead. They made him look good. Go ahead. No, you go ahead, man. <laughs> well, yeah, they made him look good because the average the quarterback was uh, Jefferson Street Jones, and Terry would yeah. take you that. Yeah, you, you right. Know, he just you had right. problems. Yeah, you're right. But no, they 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 kind of like blackball um, Jefferson Street Joe Gillum when um, when when Terry Bradshaw got healthy and that second playoff game they put Bradshaw and not um, Joe because Joe struggled in the first game even though they won, but uh, they put Bradshaw back in there, man. You know, but you know that's that's how they do us, man. But um, they go back to, to the black quarterback. <laughs> you know, yeah, they don't yeah. they don't treat us they don't treat them like they treat regular quarterback. Right, and um, you know what? Uh, also, man, um, I look at it. I look at it like this, right? Um, until until we stand up, because we need to stand up for um, Colin Kaepernick, man. Uh, because um, I look at it like this, right? I can't protest by not watching the game because if, if the black NFL players is going to play the game, I can't not watch the game. Something I love, you know what I'm saying? And um, I can't do it like that. And they making millions of dollars, and they ain't making nothing. I gotta pay to see them. I gotta pay to see them twice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going around. I ain't got time with this fire stick and Cody boxes and uh, all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because half time that shit work don't work, and then you gotta buy more shit to keep it working. I'm gonna keep my goddamn cable because I like New York sports. So uh, I'm paying two times to see them play. But I look at it like this, man. I love the game, man. You know, and that's just what's up. But before we get out of here, man, we're going to talk about your Falcons. What is your Falcons going to do to redeem themselves from last year? They're going to pick up where they left off. They and lost the game, but uh, they, <laughs> they're going to pick. They don't, they had a, you know, they got, they got a few more pieces to go with what they got. Now, I can look at that two ways. You said they're going to pick up where they left off at. They left off with a goddamn... Sorry ass lost because they let a team come back um, and they was down 25 points. You know what I'm saying? Or either I can look at it like this. I can look at it like this. Uh, They're going to redeem themselves and they're going to march through the division, which I don't think so because Cam got a lot to do with that. Uh, 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 The division, I think they'll they'll split with everybody. You think they'll split with everybody? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got uh, some fun. One thing about those teams, the teams in the divisions, uh-huh. they get up for each other. And I think they will split with each other. You, you win your home game. Oh, okay. That, that's big up, man. That's big up. But I like it that you came on here and educated us on a couple of things here, man. And, um, hey, man, man, you always been cool. By the way, everybody, uh, Addison and I worked together uh, with Davenport Transportation. I really didn't want to mention their name, but I mentioned it since that's your company now. Um, driving <laughs> driving the mail for the post office. That he's a contractor that has over what almost three hundred contracts and over about three hundred certain trucks. You know, yeah, he got he got over four hundred now. Oh, you got to see what I'm saying. He, he, he got <laughs> and, some stuff down in uh, uh, Birmingham and some stuff up in in the Carolinas. Wow, and then he and, got some extra stuff down in Auburn. I don't know if you had none of that when you was there. Uh, yeah, he had about one one of them. Um, the the uh. The I think he had no, he didn't have the Birmingham. I thought he had the Birmingham, but um, that's big. Uh, this man started out with two trucks, 
and whatnot. I can't down the man because the man gave me 11 years of